Food, you're Scottish, fry something. Bacon. Bacon. That's bacon. Are you trying to poison me? You see? Beans. Funny's good. What's your name? Amelia Pond. Oh, that's a brilliant name. Amelia Pond. Like a name in a fairy tale. Oh, in Scotland, Amelia. No, I had to move to England. 
It's rubbish. So what about your mum and dad, then? They're upstairs. I thought we'd have woken them by now. Don't have a mum and dad. Just an aunt. I don't even have an aunt. You're lucky. I know. So your aunt? Where is she? She's out. And she left you all alone? I'm not scared. Of course you're not. You're not scared of anything. Box falls out of the sky, man falls out of the box, man eats fish custard. And look at you. Just sitting there. So you know what I think? What? Must be out of a scary crack in your wall. Hello, everybody. Good evening. This is Jason Robinson from Illustration by Design. It might be a good afternoon, depending on where you are. Hello. I am an artist, an illustrator, and I draw stuff like this here. Uh, this is the last drawing I did. Welcome to my live stream. Uh, I drew the 10th Doctor, uh, David Tennant, last time. And uh, tonight I'm going to be drawing the 11th Doctor, his successor, uh, Matt Smith. So, uh... Well, welcome, welcome you to my live stream. Thanks for showing up. Actually, I don't know if anybody's here, but I'm assuming there is. And uh, yeah, thank you for stopping by, saying hello. Hope you guys are having a good week. It's now Tuesday, the 22nd. This is the 22nd. This is the 22nd. Cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start drawing in a few seconds. I just need to get my phone working so I can actually see. Okay, cool. Nobody's here. So that's good. Anyway, welcome to my YouTube channel. I draw stuff and uh, I also do unboxings. I got another package today. Um, let's see here. Um, bup, 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 bup. I'm going to find some stuff. Got a new package today. Uh, and uh, ah, there we go. And it's from, you see that? Murakuma Comics. Murakuma Comics. And I got this on e not eBay, but I got this on Etsy of all places. Um, and some of you may know who Murakuma Comics is. And that this might give you a hint right here on the corner. That is Battle Maiden Knuckle Bomb. And uh, Hyung Lee, the uh, creator of Metal Maiden Knuckle, Knuckle Bomb, uh, has uh, created an, an Etsy store where you can buy back issues of the comic. Now, I bought the first issue. Where did that? Oh, there it is. It's like, where did I put my Zatka blade? Um, I bought the first issue, but I never bought the second issue, so I missed out. But for some reason, I happened to stumble across Hyung Lee's. Etsy store and saw that he had copies still available after his crowdfunding campaign closed and so I plopped down my and I only okay this is a cool thing it only cost seven bucks to buy these issues of Battle Made Knuckle Bomb so I was like cool seven bucks I will buy that and if you can see there, it's seven bucks plus like five dollars, six dollars shipping and handling, and a little tax. So the whole thing cost me thirteen ninety one. So that was a deal. Um, whoop, taking away the all my private info. Oh, he signed it too. Very cool. So I got a copy of Balmain Knuckle Bomb number two, signed by Kyung Lee, and ooh, little cards in there as well. Awesome. Very very cool. So I'm very excited about that. I now have both issues, and uh, I can add this to my collection. If I can move that out of the way without knocking everything over. 
Ugh. Let me take a look. Let me crack this open before I start drawing Matt Smith. Uh, and I apologize to David Tennant and LeVar Burton for uh, opening this on top of their heads. By the way, as usual, these drawings are available, and as well as the, the drawing that I'm doing tonight will be available for 60 bucks. So if you want it, if you want any of my drawings on any of these live streams, just contact me down below. Here's my contact info, and you can buy it. Uh, also, the link to Kyung Lee's Etsy store is also down below. So if you too want a copy of Battle Maiden Knuckle Bomb, issue one or two, go over there and check it out. Let's see. Let me open this up. Uh, let me see. Very nice. Great artwork from Kyung Lee, as usual. A nice, thick main character, as usual. Cool, 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 cool. Look at this. Great manga style artwork. Kyung Lee does some wonderful work. I cannot wait to read this. I won't be reading it today, but, um, oh, I will be reading it today, but later on I won't be reading it right now. But this stuff's good. Very, very cool stuff, Kyung. Yeah. Yeah, check this out, you guys. If you like good artwork, you should buy Battle Maiden Knuckle Bomb. Story's pretty interesting, too. So, uh, yeah. Very nice stuff. I, I don't know if, if he's going to have any more issues or not. I, I mean, I'll, I'll probably be able to tell by the end of the issue if you see if it, there's a cliffhanger or whatnot. But looks good. Very, very cool. Great stuff from Kyung Lee. So, uh, yeah, go down below into the, uh, into the description. You'll find a link to Kyung's Etsy store. You can buy this and other Battle Made Knuckle Bomb stuff. He's got uh, a lot of the extras. Um, from the campaign are for sale down there as well. So I encourage everybody to uh, check out Battle Maiden and Knuckle Bomb. Okay, there you can now you can see it. <laughs> Anywho. Ah, put that aside. Let me uh. Oh, okay. Someone's here. Wiggle Wiggle is here. And Wiggle Wiggle says it's a good deal. I need to read them. Yeah, you should check them out. Again, I didn't even know they had, that he had an Etsy store, so I was very happy to, to find it and uh, find that I could uh, buy his back issues. Um, I keep moving my phone and everything keeps on changing, skewing. And, what the mod? Did I have it? Go back to normal. What happened? Ah, I hate cell phones. Um, something's happening, and I don't know what's going on. Um, Phone froze up. Dag nabbit. All right, go there. Okay, now it unfroze. All right, it's working now. Um, it probably says you want good artwork. Pick up a few great pieces off of Mr. Robinson's eBay page. Um, oh yeah, yeah. You can go uh, go down below and um, or over there up into the top of the chat. And you can uh, get copies of Secret Comics Presents, a comic book that I drew last year. It's a horror anthology. You saw a commercial for it at the beginning of the stream. And, uh, you know, again, as I said, if you want any of this artwork, just contact me, again, down below uh, via social media and DM me. And uh, I'll be happy to sell you my art. Any, anyway, uh, or rather, any who, since we're drawing Doctor Who, I'm going to get started on uh, drawing the 11th Doctor, Matt Smith's version, and uh, yeah. see see if I can make it look like him. So, all right, move this side. I need to I need to vacuum off my drawing table because got all all these erasing shavings on here. Yeah, I can nab it. Alright. There we go. Now, can you guys see that? I think you can. Yeah, okay. You can see that. 
Wiggle Wiggle says, I've had them both for a while. Okay, cool. Then you should read them. You should read them. down here where I live unfortunately it's it's sort of like Narnia where it's perpetual winter except it's perpetual summer where I live so it's always hot except for the rare day that it gets down below 70 which I'm very happy for today is not that day Stay hydrated by drinking lots of water. Lots of water. And I'm wearing the wrong glasses, which is why I can't see. That's not good. If you would, sorry about that. Uh, 
Okay. Oh. Hey, Improbi. You take care. Probably says, I uh, gotta take off early. Have to try to get home without breaking my neck with the streets being like ice drinks outside. Yeah, you take care. Drive safely. I will. I will try to draw safely. Try not to hurt myself with this drawing. <laughs> Got that done. Let me see. About getting Matt Smith drawn. Ah. Matt Smith has a very interesting face. It's very, uh, His, his, his head shape reminds me of, I don't know if you've ever seen that, uh, Ed McDonald's character, um, Mac, Mac Tonight, he's, he's got, who, who is basically just like a, a half moon, he has a, like a half moon for a head or a crescent moon for a head, Matt Smith's head reminds me of that, he's very interesting, sh interestingly shaped head. It's sort of like a half moon, or a crescent moon anyway. messed up. Let me try again. <laughs> it did not take long for me to start screwing up, but that's why God made erasers. Supu Gamers here, how you doing? It says, hey, how the last Doctor Who turn it out? Uh, up, 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 up. Let me show you. Let me show you. There we go. 
And that is the last, the previous Doctor Who, um, David Tennant. Doctor number 10. Tenant 10. There has to be some uh, some connection there. So, but yeah, that is the. That's what number 10 turned out. Now I'm working on number 11. So, and again, if anybody's interested, all this, all these are all these drawings are available for sixty dollars each. Free shipping in the United States. So if you live in the U.S. of A. You don't have any shipping charges. <laughs> nice, says uh, Marcy Gamer. He said he looks surprised. Yeah. Probably is. Ooh, it's... Uh, man, I am... I'm yawning. I don't know why. Why am my body telling me that it is... Tired for some reason. I saw Matt Smith in The Crown playing uh, Prince Philip. If you guys, I don't know if you guys watched The Crown, the first two seasons. Uh, he, he, was play, he played Prince Philip in it. Um, I'm not sure if he was uh, the best person for the for the role, but he, he did okay. He did okay so. It doesn't really strike me as a Prince Philip type, but... Prince Philip is, uh, was pretty tall. I mean, he was, uh, you know, and... I mean, he's well over six feet, I believe, and uh, Matt Smith is only six foot tall, so I, I don't know, he just, it just, was, it was interesting to watch. <laughs> of course, now they have uh, uh, Elizabeth uh, DeBecky, DeBecky, now you pronounce her name, um, playing Princess Diana. And Elizabeth DeBecky is, uh, she's like six foot two, six foot three. She's, she's tall. She's like Amazon size. Um, but, uh, Princess Diana was only, not only, I mean, she was tall for a woman. She was, she was like five, ten. But even still, I mean, I'm wondering who they're going to get to play Prince Charles if, uh, if the woman playing Princess Diana is, is well over six foot. <laughs> That would be interesting.
that's not going to work. Looks odd. I gotta zoom out. Cause I am too close to the artwork right now. And it's uh it's messing things up. Dangers of live streaming. Moving the wrong way and completely knocking your camera off target. Not for the faint of heart. Still not right. That is still not right.
Oof. Now I'm trying to draw his brow, but I'm making him look like Frankenstein for some reason. I mean, his, his brow is very prominent, but it's uh. uh up with this. Okay, I only got my headphones to work. Hopefully you guys can still hear the music.
Hey Jeff Potts, how you doing? Good seeing you. Hope you're doing okay. I'm a little, a little worn out for some reason. Getting a little tired. What time is it? I'm probably gonna end. This won't be a this won't be a long stream. I'm gonna end around eight o'clock because uh, my wife's coming home. I might uh, I might restart it up again um, later on in the evening. But uh, wanted to at least get started on this. So I haven't live streamed since uh, last week. So, decided to come online and give drawing Matt Smith a shot. I also unboxed uh, Battle Maiden Knuckle Bomb number two, which I bought on Kyung Lee's uh, Etsy store, in case you missed it. So, and the link to that is again down below. Anybody who's interested. Jeff Potts is making an audiobook as a for your information. Cool. Uh, if you haven't already, you guys should check out Jeff Potts' uh, previous uh, clip that he uh, he showed us about his uh, for his uh, fantasy novel. I can't remember. I can't remember the name of it. But put the information in the uh, in the chat if you would, Jeff Potts. Because it's been about it's been about a month or so since uh, since I last. Saw it. He had, he had. I think it was Alpha Proto. Wasn't it Alpha Proto who did the, uh, the, uh, the voiceover for your, for your clip, from your, from your story. Um, it was very good, very, very well done. So, I encourage everybody to check it out. When do you plan on having the audiobook finished? Or available by Jeff. If you know, I don't know. I don't know if you have a planned schedule for it or, or what. Okay, cool. Jeff Poss has just put the uh, the link to Alpha Proto's reading of his first chapter from his book. Is Alpha Proto going to do the entire audiobook, uh, Jeff? Because I thought he did a fantastic job with that first chapter. And he says, I'm hoping to have the audiobook out by May or June. Very good. Cool. And when you do, again, please uh, feel free to post the link in, in, you know, in the chat and let, let everybody know. I had to contract a voice artist. Why? Why? <laughs> Why not Alpha Proto? <laughs>
Jackpot says, I tried contacting, contacting Alpha Proto, but he never got back with me. What? That's a shame. Because Alpha Proto, you, you guys listen to that first chapter that Jeff Potts posted a link to. That, that sounded great. But if you, uh, yeah, if you're able to hire, um, you know, a, 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 you know, a guy who does it, uh, you know, for a living, professional, uh, voice actor, that's cool too. I'm sure it'll do a good job. I'm sure your story will be well read by him. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, so. Please let us know when it's available. Jeff Price says, however, I'll contact Alpha for the next book. I think that the next book might be right up his alley. Cool. Yeah. That would be awesome. That would be very awesome. Sorry, I make noise when I when I draw. When I'm thinking, when I'm thinking. Uh, Jeff Pross says the guy has chops. I think he he's maybe a little gun shy. I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean it's um, I mean it's one thing to be good at something. It's another it's another to want to put it out there for other people to sort of see and possibly you know judge or or review or whatever I mean I, I, I completely understand that I mean I'm, I'm good at drawing but I, I'm real I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> I'm pretty gun shy about putting my stuff out there for other people to, to look at and critique so I, I totally understand if, if Alpha Proto, uh, for whatever reason, uh, has decided to, yeah, sort of pull back, so. I need to learn to be more, I guess, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? More outgoing, more extroverted in terms of taking advantage of, of opportunities like that because you know I do this for a living so I can't <laughs> I can't afford to be gun shy because <laughs> I need to eat I need to eat and I need to pay the light bill so I don't have any other talents to fall back on unfortunately so I gotta, I gotta draw, and I gotta, I gotta try to convince people to, uh, to hire me to, uh, to do it. So. Hmm. Jeff Potts says, but the guy I'm having read my book, The Reverend and the Tomb, nailed it. Cool. Great. Glad to hear it. Very, very exciting. Very exciting. I'm weird with vo with voice actors. For I, I'm not a big audiobook fan. My wife loves them. I I don't know. I, I, I think usually the voices in my head... I prefer listening to those when I'm reading a book as opposed to someone else reading it and sort of interfering with it. But there's some there's some readers of audiobooks that I love, and, and um, I don't know the, I don't know their names, but or even I'm, I'm trying to think of is it, it, this a certain quality to to some uh, to some uh, readers that make me that draw me into the story whereas other readers sort of take me out of it so I'm kind of picky when it comes to audio readers but uh you know Alpha Proto definitely had it and I'm assuming this that this new guy you you uh you got has it as well so yeah I'm looking forward to, to when your book is uh finally finished and available for uh 
for purchase or reading or whatever. You will have to let us know. Depot says, uh, Apple Proto Sample, for not being a pro, was better than most of the people's work that I heard when selecting a narrator. Now, where do you go to find a, a, uh, a narrator for a, an audiobook? I mean, did you just, did you just go to like Fiverr or, <laughs> I mean, is there, is there like a voice actor website or did you go to Upworks? I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm sure there are places to find these people. Do you get a recommendation from someone? I don't know, because I've never I've never done something like that. Oh. Hmm. Jeffmont says, I'm going through a service called Find Away Voices. They have an audition process I had to go through. Huh? You had to, you had to, you had to go through an audition process? Or you, you had to, hmm, maybe I'm just reading that wrong. You had, or you had to go through a process where you had voice actors audition for you. Is that it? Maybe I'm just misunderstanding. I don't know. The other one is called ACX, which is affiliated with Amazon and Audible. Amazon and Audible only put me on that their platform. Find a way it puts me in about 34 different audiobook providers. Wow, that, that sounds complicated. <laughs> I I don't know what the wow. I thought you could just like pick anyone. I don't. Uh, hmm. Oh, you have voice actors audition for you. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Can you just find? Can you just get anyone to to do a voiceover for you? And and or or do they? I guess depending on the format of the platform, like Amazon or Audible, and Audible, do, do they? Do they have people that they require you to pick from, or can you just pick anyone and then and then have them read your book? I, again, I don't know the process, but by the way, it handles all the distribution and they take twenty percent of my revenue. Um, but um, the the voice actors themselves, do, do, do you have to go with? Want to find the ways choices, or can you just have anyone do it?
but you know 20 percent isn't that bad if they're uh if they're doing that much of the that much of the lifting yeah you know, it doesn't sound any different than uh you know sort of a you know if you had a uh an agent sort of handing a lot of that a lot of that dirty work not have to go with uh, find a way or ACX's choices. They allow you to do it independently then upload it complete. Okay, cool. That's cool. Very good. Very, very good. Oh wow, um, Jeff Fox says I went through 50 plus ages and they all rejected me so I'm doing it on my own. Good, 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 good. Get your stuff out there. You, um, it's too much, uh, you know, just like the comic book industry. A lot of gatekeeping out there, keeping uh, talented people from showing their stuff. So put it out on your, on your own. I mean, I think of people like, you know, Matthew Weldon and, uh, What's his name? Um, Kanan White. I mean, this, this phenomenal, mind-blowing artist. And you know, if, if they if if they only limited their uh, putting their stuff out, if Marvel and DC hired them, we'd never see it. So you put your stuff out there, and then let the people decide whether they want it or not. Jeff Fox says, "I'll be back." Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jeff Possible will, will be back. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go pretty soon because my wife is getting home. And I need to... Uh, I mean, she's already eaten, but I haven't eaten. So I need to, I need to make some dinner and uh, get started on that. alert to my ear from my computer yeah. I don't want to let me draw just let me draw
I'm gonna have to. Uh, uh, okay. Oh. Hmm. Kind of mess up the. Kind of messed up the mouth a little, but. What time? It's 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 eight oh five right now. I gotta get going. But I will. Tr I'll try to be. I'm gonna try to come back maybe later on tonight and uh, continue working on this. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys will join me. Um, Jeff Price says, I look at it this way. This book is essentially an experiment. I get it out there, see if I get any response, look at where my audience is. It's good. Good plan. Um, but again, I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta take off. Um, I'll try to be back later on tonight if I can. And uh, keep working on this. It's getting there. Just, you know, some of the things are, eh. Just detail stuff. Um... But, uh, you know, Matt Smith is one of my one of my favorite doctors. He's up there. I would say he's top three with uh, David Tennant and uh, Tom Baker, who, who of course is number one. No one can beat Tom Baker as the doctor. But I want to thank everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for spending a little time with me um, this evening. And uh, you know, hopefully I will again see you again. Yeah, you know, in a little bit. But uh, make sure to hit the bell for notifications for when I do go back on. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you haven't already, give a little stream, a live stream, yeah, a thumbs up if you would, and uh, subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, guys, you take care, and I will see you all later on. All right, stay out of trouble. Bye. Jeff Fox says I'll probably be on later. Cool. I look forward to it. He also said I'll, I'll slowly build a fan base then. With next book, target the formats, ebook, paperback, and audiobook that get the most interest first. Very cool. Okay, great. Looking forward to it. Okay. Jeff Fox, everybody else, see ya. Bye.